Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to season number two here in the UCF Knights Dynasty. Today, we start our journey here in the second season as we sweep the state of Florida, starting in Miami, then going to Florida State, and then heading to South Florida. UCF comes into this season with new weapons on this team. We did have a graduate and a transfer in the offseason. Larry O'Neill transferred to Gardner-Webb. And then obviously uh, Domas Marcun has graduated since he was the only senior on the squad. We had a couple of new playmakers, including Jordan White now heading into the starting lineup and then the sharpshooter, just incredible. We really did have to go after a shooter in the offseason, and we add that incredible. So in game number one, we do take on Miami on the road. Now, the first half did get corrupted in the footage, so I apologize for that. So we will jump right into season two in the second half. You can see UCF is off to a fast start versus Miami, taking advantage of a huge lead to start the second half, 62 to 39. Here is your first look at Reese Mahanic, one of the big men we recruited in the offseason, and we closed the deal on him. Hopefully, he's going to be a good two way forward. There is Bongani Mwangi in the post. He is going to be a guy to look out for in season number two because in the offseason, he went to work adding a three-point shot to his game. This team is going to be built a lot differently than last year. We're going to take threes, a lot of them. Here's a three this time. Devon Bands also improved on his three-point shot. He goes into his junior year still coming off of the bench, but he can get rotational minutes in the starting lineup if he does play well enough. Here's a pass to the corner. This is the new starting point guard, Jordan White, knocking down the shot. And this lead extends to 30. Here is Mwangi in the post. No more Marcunas. It's just him, and he goes straight over the top of their big man for the hook shot. 74 to 46 here with five minutes to go. And we can't get about, forget about our leading scorer in Antonio Johnson. This is the type of team you're going to see. We're going to attack the basket. We're going to shoot threes as Jordan White gets the easy dunk. This is just the preview of what's to come here in season number two. As Henry closes out the game, we go on to win this one 81 to 60 as Miami knocks down this buzzer beater three. But we win this game easily by 21 points. And this season, now is starting to get underway. It's going to be a good one here in season two. A lot of exciting players on this squad, especially inside. I think that our big men are really going to really make a difference this year, especially putting the ball in the hoop. No more relying on Antonio Johnson. He's still going to be that big time scorer for us. But even in the opener, he only had eight points. Jordan White led the team in scoring with 17. He's in his new role as a starting point guard. It's going to be a whole lot of fun in season number two. In game number two, we go up against Florida State. And once again, UCF takes a huge lead in the first half. And we just start to pull away and we don't give it back. And look at the rebounds without Marcunas, even out rebounding teams, 55 to 26. That is just crazy. Antonio Johnson with 23 in this game. It's going to be a lot of fun to play with this team as we hop into the marquee matchup versus South Florida. As UCF comes in with a kind of younger team, they have a leading scorer who is a senior, 14.5 points per game. But then they have a pretty good Young freshman in Cameron Willis. I'm excited to see what he's going to do in this game. And then Law Lawton Amos is a junior. He is six foot nine, averaging six, six and six. And he is the marquee player, Cameron Willis, the freshman, along with uh, Antonio Johnson and Reese Mahanic. It's going to be an awesome matchup here. They do start off the season 0-3, but today we get to see a full game here versus Southern South Florida. And we are on their home court, so we will see what happens today. We did not get the conference promotion in season number one. We'll see if we get promoted next season. Let's get this game underway as UCF wins the tip. Here's the new starting point guard, Jordan White, all the way. Wasting no time getting to the basket. How about him? Here we go, 2-0 start. Here's a three from the corner. Antonio Johnson misses that one. 
USF comes the other way now, pushing it all the way up the court. It's the freshman, and he draws the foul, getting to the basket. Reese Mahanic on the foul, the true freshman. He fouls the true freshman, Cameron Willis, as he goes to the free throw line. I was excited to play against him because I haven't seen a lot of freshman starters in this game, just how this game is kind of built. Seniors usually get the bulk of the minutes. Here is Jordan White from the corner, open, but he does brick that one. But a nice offensive board, maybe a little luck right there. there. Bounces right to Bamani Mwangi. And now here we go. Inside, there is an offensive board by USF, and we do foul him. Bungani Mwangi, why can I not say that name earlier? Here we go the other way. Good defense by Mwangi. Here is Jay Henry to the corner. Jordan White with another three opportunity, and he knocks it down. He comes into the season with about a 72 three-point rating. It's not great, but if he can knock him down when he's open, he's going to be quite the weapon out there. Here is Henry driving to the basket. It's an and one. Henry getting his man off the ground, off of the pump fake and pass from Antonio Johnson. And Henry drives and makes it a three-point play. Good start to this game. 10-4 start here for UCF. You know we have that good defense. There is a deflection. And look at this, going the other way after the block. Johnson all the way with the left hand. It's good. An 8-0 run now after a 4-4 start. And our bench starts to come in. Just incredible checks in off the bench. Here is a pass to the corner. It's Antonio Johnson for the three. 11-point lead already. UCF already showing that new offense. Here's a pass inside to the freshman, and he gets it to go. USF does get a bucket there maybe to stop some momentum. Here's a drive and a spinning layup, and that was thrown back by Mwangi, but an offensive rebound. USF puts it right back in. Jordan White looking for the pick, passing it inside to Mahanic. Trying to draw the double team, a fade away from about free throw distance. It's off, but an offensive board, Mwangi, he gets fouled. Jeremy Patton, who is guarding him this game, that's a tough assignment. Mwangi is very good at putting the ball in the hoop inside. He bricks the first free throw and does nail the second, a 16-8 start here for UCF. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. Here's a drive, and how about him? He is leading their team in scoring. And now here he is at the top once again, driving again. He misses an easy one, Willis does, and we go the other way. Here is Johnson in traffic, throwing one up, and it's going to be an and one. Johnson draws the foul, and he goes to the free throw line. Average 20 points a game as a freshman, averaging 15 through two games. And now we are up by nine early on. Here's a bad miss by USF. Here we go the other way. Johnson trapped at the top to the corner. Credible gets it. Back out to Mahanic, swinging it around. Johnson passes it to the open corner. This is a three, and that's good. It feels good to have another shooter outside of Antonio Johnson. As here he pulls the trigger again. That one rims around. Offensive board. Mahanic puts it in. How about the offensive boards in this game? This is something that we did not do last year. We did not get offensive boards and put it back up with our big men. But here we go, a defensive board going the other way. Here is Jay Henry in traffic. He gets it to go. 16-point lead in the first half. We haven't seen this at all in this series so far. Here is the other true freshman, Amali Straylock, off of the bench. He gets an offensive rebound and puts that one up and in. You are going to see a lot of different lineups here as we do try to get familiar with this team, but it hasn't taken long so far. But USF staying in this game. There's a bucket right there. 28-16, a fade away. That one's missed. Here is Credible going the other way after the defensive rebound. He's going to push it all the way to the basket and will draw the foul. And that's going to be on David Payton off the bench. And here is Credible, the first time you'll see him at the line. Six foot two, he can actually play a little bit of point guard. He's not the greatest of passers, but he has that good speed. So he can push the ball up the court. And he's a very good shooter. He knocks down both free throws. About a minute and a half to go. Milo Yarbrough checked into the game at point guard. Here's a drive to the basket. Tough shot over Kolchak. Long pass up court to Milo. He goes for a layup. That one will be a foul. 
And Milo Yarbrough, five foot nine, five foot ten, maybe goes to the free throw line. He is a very good three point shooter. He did not play much last season. He kind of sat on the bench and was a reserve. But this year, he'll definitely get in because of his three point shooting ability. So here we go with the 16 point lead again. Here is a pass inside, a foul on Mahanic. And USF goes to the line to make it a four point or 14 point game. As now we get it to under a minute to go here in the first half. 16 seconds on the clock. They might hold for the last shot here. Working it around the perimeter. They work it to the right wing. A drive to the basket. A tough shot. And that is good. That is over the freshman Devontae Sward. And here we go with one second to go. We chuck one up. I'm not even sure we got that one off. It's off anyway. But a 10-point lead here going into halftime here for UCF. And... You can just see the potential with this team. It looks like a team that could make another run at the NCAA tournament. It's early, but we can score. You know, one thing I do like about this squad is that we do not have to just settle for two points or settle for pick and rolls from Antonio Johnson. Now everybody can shoot around us, so it's definitely going to add a different dynamic. Here we start the second half with the steal. Here is Johnson pushing it up the court all the way to the bucket. He went coast to coast. Literally, he was under the basket and went all the way and beat the other team. Here comes USF the other way. A spinning layup. That one's missed. Here's Jay Henry pushing it up the court to the corner. This is Antonio trying to get free a little bit. Passes it to the inside. White following Mahanic. And look at the offensive board. And it's Mwangi gets his own offensive board. Two missed shots on that possession, but Mwangi gets it done. Here's Johnson. What a crossover! Oh, my goodness! A 19-point lead highlighted by sophomore Antonio Johnson. A 20-point score last year, and he's all over NBA radars this year. And now it is a 19-point game. The dominance continues here in the second half. Here's a three-point shot, and that one is good. Could have been a foul as well. As here we go the other way, now up by 16. Johnson to the basket. Nobody stops him. An 18-point lead. 43-25 now. Here they are working in the post. Here's a tough shot. Knocked down. USF is at least keeping in this game a little bit, not letting us get to that 20-point mark. But here we are working it inside. Mwangi in the post. This time fakes the shot. Fade away, and that's good. That's a part of his game he did not have last year. He was kind of more of a hustle guy. Now he can start to hit these crafty shots. 16-point game now. Now a 46-29 game, so 17 points. 11 minutes to go. Here is a missed shot. Reese Mahanic on the defensive board. Here we go the other way. Jordan White crossover gets to the basket. Almost throws it down, but gets blocked from behind. Jordan White is just an exciting player. He's lefty, too, so it looks even prettier. Here we go the other way. White gets another opportunity. This time, what will he do? And he draws the foul this time in transition. Yeah, averaging 15 points a game, five assists to the first two games, and I think it's just a welcoming change between him and Jack McAbee. McAbee will come off the bench but I think White just gives us another dynamic here is that's a pretty layup right there. I don't think I've ever seen that animation in this game. 17-point game now, 48-31. to 31. Jordan White now working it inside. This is Milwaukee. And one over Cameron Willis, the freshman. And Reese McHannock is going to be a very good player. I can't wait to see what these guys turn into. It's very early in the season, but... It's an exciting, exciting year for UCF basketball. Here's a spinning layup this time, and that is going to be a foul on Antonio Johnson, only his first today. Cameron Willis, the freshman, goes to the free throw line. He leads UC USF in scoring. He knocks down the first, and the second one is also going to be good. 18-point game here with eight minutes to go. Here is Antonio Johnson at point now. He's going to take it. He's going to break the press, actually, get trapped at about the – Outside of the paint, here is Credible in the corner. He takes the three. It just feels good to have somebody else who can fill it up from outside now without Antonio Johnson having to take over games. Defensive board thrown all the way up the court. Johnson all the way. 
I think it just eases up the defense off of Johnson. You can just see it, it just looks like he's more relaxed scoring the basketball. It's not always where he's contested or has to take a uh, contested shot and have to make these tough plays by himself. Here he is once again. Another drive. Look at him. 19-point lead, four minutes to go. UCF has this one in the bag. Three minutes. Here is a trap and a steal. Here we go the other way. Credible all the way to the basket. And that looked like it went in, but I guess it didn't. Here comes USF the other way. The freshman all the way. Left hand gets his own board, and he misses twice in a row. Here we go the other way to the corner. Credible stops and thinks about it. Passes all, bit, all the way back around. Here is Devon Bands now carrying it around. Back around the perimeter, swinging the pass. This is Nash Kolchak into the game. Over to the corner. Finally to Credible again. 61-39 now. Two minutes to go. UCF just looks good this year. Here is Kolchak. Once again, one more heat check for the freshman. And it's credible. He comes off the bench. Just an amazing performance for him today. USF just staying alive here with their transition dunk. And now one more three to end this game. But UCF takes care of business. We hold on to win this game. And it was just not a close game at all. We dominated on both ends of the floor. We had a lot of transition points, a lot of outlet passes, which led to fast break points. It was just an excellent effort on both ends of the floor. I'm proud of these guys. I can't wait to see the potential out of this team. Just a whole lot of fun it's going to be this season to play with these guys. I'm excited to get into our first in-season tournament. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. Antonio Johnson with 19 points today. But to have another scorer off the bench like Justin Credible, it's going to be a different team. I think, you know, if we had this team last year versus Villanova, we might have upset them. Who knows? Credible went four of seven from three. Antonio Johnson went two of eight. And even Jordan White went one of four. And I still got to figure out Devon Bantz's shot. He went 0 of five from three. And the freshman Cameron Willis had 16 points in that game. So we do have a few more games before the Puerto Rico uh, tip-off. So I will actually uh, game cast those, and then we will start the tournament next episode. I can't wait to get into that. And then we will probably have three episodes for non-conference play. I will have the uh, recruiting special as well this season. Can't wait to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this team. I mean, it's just going to be a whole lot of fun this year. And we'll see what UCF does. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money. I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenant. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. This how we slide. This how we ride. Yeah, yeah. This how we ride.